Inventwood is an innovator of advanced wood materials. Our materials have better performance, lower cost, and far greater sustainability over alternatives. We think of ourselves as wood alchemists, as a team of scientists that have discovered ways to alter the chemistry of wood, to make it an incredibly powerful and versatile material in ways the world has never seen before. Next slide, please. Let me illustrate the opportunity. Look at these two images. One is a caveman's tool. The other is an ax you could buy today. While the blade has changed profoundly, the handle has not. And although the new one is better shaped and maybe coated, at the cellular level, nothing has changed. We're using wood in the exact same form that the cavemen did. And that's the problem and the opportunity. And that's where Inventwood comes in. Next slide, please. Inventwood is committed to revolutionizing the way today's products are made to make them better, cheaper, and greener. And we're a problem solver for our clients. That is why very large, well-known companies from around the world have come to us with a goal of solving their biggest challenges. Regardless of the industry or circumstances, they've come to us to make their products better in one of these three ways. Next slide, please. And we solve these problems by deploying an extensive portfolio of wood-based innovations. Here are some of our technologies. We're able to create some remarkable wood-based materials that are, for example, stronger than steel, more insulative than styrofoam, and even one that is as clear as glass. We believe this is incredibly exciting, but don't take my word for it. Next slide, please. The world is calling out for these materials. As you can see, a number of widely read publications have featured our materials, heralding these breakthrough technologies. And what's really important is that this has led to companies around the world reaching out to us and engaging in Ventwood to improve their products. With virtually no marketing or proactive sales efforts, Inventwood has begun working with some of the world's biggest companies. Next slide, please. To illustrate what we do, I'd like to tell the story of the Reed Diffuser. If you've ever been to a, the lobby of a luxury hotel or a day spa, or even the bathroom at the home of your classiest friend, you may have seen one of these. This is basically a high-end air freshener. It's very simple, consisting of a bottle filled with a fragrance solution with reeds sticking out of it. The fragrance wicks up through the reeds and the room is filled with a pleasant aroma. In theory, it looks great and works great. And that's why people pay up to $150 a bottle for some of them. In reality, these, work, these diffusers work only for a few weeks. After that, the reeds clog and the fragrance ceases to diffuse. Even though the bottle is half full, the room no longer smells like what you want it to smell like and smells more like, well, something else. So what happens next? Well, most consumers leave this inert but half full bottle on the shelf, sometimes for months. Some throw it away and some complain to whomever they bought it from. Next slide, please. But more importantly, many consumers have just stopped buying them. Sales for this product have been flat at around 180 million a year for the last five years as people switch to alternatives. For example, if you go to Bath and Body Works today, you will find more scented candles than you can use in a lifetime, but you won't find a single reed diffuser. And that's because of this problem. Understandably, the companies that make and sell these reed diffusers have tried a number of things. They reformulated the chemistry of their fragrances, thrown in more reeds, you name it. In truth, the culprit has always been the humble reed itself. And that's where we come in. Next slide, please. We solve this challenge by making an uncloggable reed that diffuses up to 132% faster. And most importantly, can empty the bottle completely. Working with a major fragrance maker, we have validated this technology. So we know it works. And given these reeds could bring our client millions of dollars in increased profits, they are naturally extremely excited about this innovation, and we plan to introduce these reeds into the market by next year. In this way, there is a win-win. Consumers get a natural product that actually works as it's supposed to, and the fragrance makers and retailers greatly improve their product sales and turnover. Creating a, fra a new fragrance diffusing reed is just a small example of how we solve problems. Let's talk about uh, where else our solutions can fit. Next slide. Believe it or not, we have broader ambitions beyond just making the air smell nice. And we're even more excited about another one of our innovations. This one called Metalwood is an incredibly strong and tough wood material that is strong enough to replace steel in many applications. Yet it's also got some very compelling advantages in its own right. And unlike other engineered wood materials that simply use existing pieces of wood and glue them together, we are modifying the wood itself 
which allows for far higher performance in a way that can compete fully with steel. Next slide, please. Perhaps the best thing about metal wood is that we start with a regular piece of wood, and then we put it through a proprietary patent pending process. The process itself basically involves two steps, chemical treatment and densification. The outcome is a material that is 20 times stronger, more than 15 times stiffer, and far more resistant to the general perils of wood, termites, moisture, and fire. In other words, it creates a material that combines the best of metal, strength, and durability with wood, which is lightweight, natural, and generally low cost. Next slide, please. In short, I'd like to leave you with three key metrics. Relative to many types of steel, metal wood is about two times stronger, 80% lighter, and around 50% cheaper. Another fun fact for the environmentally minded of you, wood can sequester carbon dioxide, helping alleviate climate change. This is virtually impossible with any other material, especially steel, whose production is responsible for about seven to eight percent of annual global greenhouse gas emissions. Next slide, please. Here's some examples of where metal wood can be used. Everything from lightweight vehicles to better sports equipment, and of course in construction. These industries also represent some of the companies where we have validation projects underway. So as you can imagine, as the steel market is enormous with an annual market value of over a trillion dollars, there's a huge opportunity here. Next slide, please. And while we'd like to do all of those applications, we recognize the need to have a thoughtful approach. And even with an amazing material like metal wood, it's important to note that in many applications, there are a number of hurdles to commercialization that actually have nothing to do with how good the material is. These include standard regulatory approvals, supply chain adjustments, and integration with existing products. So with that in mind, we plan to start small in the short term with more consumer discretionary applications that are relatively easy to get in the market. These are things like skis and snowboards, floor tiles, and high-end furniture. We'll use this momentum to move into more complex and impactful applications like buildings and vehicles. Next slide, please. Let me say a few words about how Inventwood will make money. First of all, Inventwood does not want to be a manufacturer of materials. We prefer, prefer to remain in the part of the value chain that we know best and tends to be the most profitable, which is material innovation. Instead, we will partner and license with existing producers of wood products that have manufacturing facilities and expertise to produce materials on our behalf. In certain cases, our clients and the manufacturer are the same, depending on the application and industry. The goal for, is for us to get paid twice, a technology fee for use of our material and a royalty on a per unit basis. Next slide, please. Shifting gears, I'd just like to say a few words about us at Inventwood. Here's a little bit of our history. We were founded in 2016. We won two major government grants in 2019, including an ARPAE award from Metalwood. We licensed the IP from the University of Maryland in February of 2020, and we've received revenues for validation projects, and we're aiming to have a product in the market by the middle of next year. Next slide, please. And here's the Inventwood team, which is composed of very well-regarded and innovative material scientists combined with highly experienced business professionals. Our technical team all has PhDs or masters in chemistry or material science. Our business team has a CFA charter holder and an MBA. We know what we're doing and we're gonna make this happen. Next slide, please. But we need your help with funding. We're asking for 2.5 million in a seed round to fund our technical development, our, RP, our IP portfolio and our commercial and business expenses. It's important to note that the federal government has already allocated about $5.5 million to these technologies in the form of federal grants. This has allowed us to refine and improve these technologies over the past three years, which represents a meaningful reduction in the technology risk for investors. At this stage, we're developing a growing list of prospective investors who may be interested in working with us and bringing these exciting technologies to market. Next slide, please. Thank you for your time and attention today. We hope that you are as excited about these possibilities for these new materials as we are. And please join us as we make the world a cleaner, greener, and happier place. I look forward to your questions.